This is Brian Johnson, and we've done his blueprint routine for 180 days. You ready for this? No. Yes. Let's go. I'm trying to get onto the Rejuvenation Olympics leaderboard, and Jesse wants to get into a kayak. Six months ago, we started here. Then we did this, but this happened. So we decided to keep going. Then we did this, this and that. And now 180 days are nearly up. If you're just tuning in, we have about five hours of documentation of this journey on this channel. And today it's time to do our final VO2 max test to see if our work has paid off. Let's go. Fancy meeting you here. You ready for a VO2 max test? Ready. Dexa what? scan. VO2 max time. We've ended test. We've ended test. test. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely going through, yeah. It's fascinating. Here are my DEX results. So my body fat percentage stayed pretty much the same. Overall, I gained weight. I went from 147 to 151 pounds and I gained four pounds of muscle mainly in my trunk and both of my legs, which is awesome. Here are Jesse's DEXA scan results. So overall, he lost about 13 pounds. So he went from 333 pounds last time to 320. That's about a loss of one pound per week. His body fat percentage went down slightly, so a 2% total. And just a reminder that it is baby steps and we're headed in a positive direction and that's exactly what we want to see. Here I am getting ready for the VO2 max test. So this is how it works. They put a mask on your face, which is connected by a tube to a computer, which calculates how efficient your body is using oxygen. So at first you can see here, they started me slow with no incline. So here the speed is 3.0 and the incline is zero. And then every 90 seconds or so, they bumped up the speed and then they would bump up the incline. And I went and pushed and pushed and pushed until I couldn't go anymore. <laughs> you okay? Here is my VO2 max results. My overall VO2 max score went up from 45.3 in December to 51 in March. So that's 4.7 points increase. My zone two went from 117 was the starting point to now 135. So basically what happened was what used to be my zone three is now my zone two. That's a sign of efficiency. And zone five, what it used to be in December was 163. And now it's 175 and above. My anaerobic threshold used to be 179, but it went down to 158. And so at first I thought this was a bad sign, like, oh no, I'm less efficient. When you exercise, your body needs to deliver oxygen to your muscles. So your heart is pumping harder and faster to send that oxygen where it's needed. But as you push harder, there becomes a point when your body can't supply enough oxygen to meet the demand. And that's when you hit the anaerobic threshold. So if your heart beats slower at this threshold, it means something pretty awesome. It means that your body has become more efficient at handling the buildup of waste products like lactic acid, which is what causes that feeling of burning or tiredness in your muscles when you're working out really intensely. So basically my body is getting better at managing fatigue. The specific things that I did is I would do a zone two workout on the treadmill like two to three times per week and I would be at an incline of around 10, speed three. I would do that for 30 minutes, sometimes watch a show on Netflix. And then once a week at the end of that zone two time, I would do sprint intervals. So either a three by three, which is three minutes on as hard as you can go, three minutes off, I'd do that or a four by four, four minutes on, four minutes off. For the zone five sprint intervals, I never did on a treadmill because it was very hard to naturally modulate. So I would always do it on either the elliptical or the bike. Now it's Jesse's turn. I 
don't know how long I went this time. A long time. A lot longer. Did you see me almost strip? I did. <laughs> I tried to push like all the way like to the next level, but yeah. I just couldn't catch my breath. Yeah. I died. Here are Jesse's VO2 max results. So when he first tested three months ago, he was able to go for about three minutes. The reason for that is because they started him way too high. This time they started at a lower, slower pace and that allowed him to go for much longer, like 10 minutes of testing or so. So for his VO2 max score, last time was 14.5, this time it was 14.0. Zone two also stayed pretty consistent. It was at 115 to 120 last time. And this time it's 113 to 117. But where Jesse's results really shine is in zone five. So previously his zone five was one, 33 or above and now his zone 5 is 155 or above. He found some super creative ways to get into zone 5. He was like throwing his arms around, he was dancing like crazy. He tried all these things to figure out how to get himself working in the zone 5 area more and that really shows. Best progress! We survived! Yes! yes. <laughs> How'd it go? Let me just say all I wanted to do was see a little bit of progress. And I did a lot of progress in my weight loss, my visceral fat loss, my performance on the VO2 max. I'm like, dang, I'm Thor. And uh, I feel really good about that. For me, VO2 max did better than before. And I gained muscle. I definitely feel stronger. <clears throat> I'm heavier overall. Um, but a lot of that is just pure muscle, which is cool. When you gain the muscle, it's just, you're strong, you're so capable, it's amazing. So I love being a strong woman. I'm here for it. I love being a strong woman too. <laughs> what? Nice. I wanted to say how you freaking, kept, you kept going faster. And Chris kept turning you know, and notching it up and you were like flying. Go ahead. I was going for it. I went until I like felt like I was gonna pass out. So yeah. that was good. That's how I knew that I really went for it. And then afterwards you get off and you're like, <clears throat> you know, you're coughing a lot. I wanted to give it everything I had. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you too, Jess. Thanks. You went for it. Jesse almost fell. I was backwards. tripping. Literally. It's sort of becoming a thing. Yeah. But then you kept going, which is awesome. Wow, it was it was definitely quite a challenge, but challenge accepted. Boom pow. Look who it is. Hey Jess. Ready for our last workout. I'm ready. Yeah. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Let's get you ready. <laughs> Kayak ready. Let's go. All right, let's see it. One step at a time. Go, go, go. Oh, like a boss, like a boss. Nice job. <laughs> Right? Hello, good. Here's the workout game plan. We're gonna do our usual routine for this last workout, which is roll it out, resistance training, and cardio. Today we are not gonna do zone five sprints because we did our VO2 max, so we'll focus on zone two, the fat burning action area. Let's roll it out. stress out somehow. Like all that stress that's just been hiding in my muscles just releases it to the wind. That booty. <laughs> <laughs>
done. All done. <laughs> Getting it. Time for speed of aging results. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> okay. All right. I'll go first. So these speed of aging results will determine if I can get onto the Rejuvenation Olympics leaderboard. We're looking for like a 0 0.75, 0 0.76 sort of area. So let's see. <sighs> Uh, okay. What? Mm. What's it look like? <laughs> it's good. No. It's not. Okay. All right. Let me process this. My score is 0 0.95. My first score was 0 0.93. My second score at 90 days was 0 0.94. And my final score at 180 days is 0 0.95. Obviously that's disappointing. Yeah, I did everything within my power to literally follow a set plan, the protocol, move forward, improve my speed of aging as much as possible. What's the, the big yeah. ache about that? It almost seems like it's the same. Yeah, so basically the score is the same. Yeah. And the reason why I think it stayed consistent instead of going down yeah. is I actually think that I am trying too hard. Yeah. I can see that. I think so. Because when I look at the routines of other people that are on the Rejuvenation Olympics board, I'm doing the exact same thing as them. But I'm just being so intense about it. And I'm, I'm stressing myself out, honestly. I'm like going so hard. I'm like working out really hard. I'm being super strict. And all of that takes a lot of energy and- Testify. Is intense. Through that. <laughs> and I don't see you all behind the scenes, but when I do witness you, you are all out, full and I, speed ahead. I think that if I just keep to my routines but back off a little bit, that it will actually help my speed of aging improve. Because I think people, from what I've seen, is people that are on the Rejuvenation Olympics leaderboard, they have a system and they've been doing it not for a handful of months, but they've been doing it for years. And they're really mm. settled into their routine and they're relaxed. I am not at that place yet. And my guess is that is when my number will start to slip down. I think the takeaway is no number is gonna take away all the effort that I put in. And it's a helpful reminder for me to maybe ease up and relax a little bit more and enjoy yeah. just settling into a routine. That's like all of our tests to give us a baseline, to give us a sense of where we are. And maybe the, like you said, the takeaway is pull back a little bit, give yourself a little bit of deep breaths and, and, and you've been doing this for six months. Like you said, people who were on the leaderboard, they've been doing it for longer than that. So you got this, you got this. Thanks Jess. Yeah. I will not be discouraged. Mm. I am disappointed, but this is part of the journey. I'm still proud of me. 
I'm proud of us at the end of the day. Oh, ditto. Me too. Yeah. Let's look at your score. I don't want to. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Oh, see? That caterpillar's bigger. 1.18. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you went up slightly by 0 0.03. <laughs> That's basically uh, the same number. Oh? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me just say, I have not been working this hard as Sierra. <laughs> so I am actually surprised that it that it's not worse than that uh, because we just did some other tests where I saw the progress. And that's really what it's about anyway. Trusting the process, focusing on the progress. But yeah, wow, 1.18. Well, that motivates me even more. To? To do what I've been doing for the past week and a half, which is to tighten up, get my rest. When I started traveling, I started unraveling. My sleep suffered, and because of that, my nutrition, my fitness. I'm not traveling for the next five weeks. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I'm going to focus up. I'm going to baby steps, keep going. That's good, Jess. Yeah. We're doing great. Yes. Holy cow. Yeah. Six months feels like a long time. It does. But it's a short time in a lifetime. So it's really, it's not about the sprint, it's about the marathon. And what are the habits that we can maintain over a long period of time? Yeah. So no need for us to get discouraged. We're taking the steps, we're taking action, and we want you to come with us. Come with! So if you've been watching the videos, or if you're watching this video, I hope that you're working out, eating, sleeping alongside us, and we're in it together. Yeah. Yeah. Be kind and gentle to yourself, because <clears throat> we are not living in the land of wishing we're healthy. We're putting in the work, and we're we're getting there. So you ready to get into a kayak? I'm ready. Ain't nothing stopping me, you know. Let's go. Let's go. Go. I am doing it. Let's go. Right. Hey, loved ones. Well, I'm over here at the uh, Ensenal dock, getting ready for my kayak adventure. I'm scared to death in the event that I actually fall in the water. I'll need to get out of there pretty quick. But uh, yeah, excited. Scared. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Just like that, Jesse did it. He overcame one of his greatest fears and fulfilled a lifelong dream of paddling out in a kayak. Six months ago, I didn't know if I'd make it. I vividly remember asking myself, can I actually do this protocol for three months? Then another three months after that, before starting this challenge, I'd had a tough year. I felt tired, unhappy, and I had no idea how to make things better. I didn't know what would come of this challenge but I followed a spark that I felt inside and life has been so good to me. I asked Jesse to join me on this intense and totally absurd health adventure. And through the toil and time, we became even closer friends. And while I might have shown him a few things in the gym, he helped me become a better person and life started to turn around. Also, this challenge absolutely wrecked me in a good way. Jesse, Brian, Kate, our families, and all of you watching and commenting really motivated us to keep going, and we're so grateful. I may not have reduced my speed of aging enough to get onto the Rejuvenation Olympics leaderboard, but I gained something even more valuable. I learned to trust myself again. With baby steps every day, I was reminded that I am powerful. I am capable. I can do this. And when it feels like all is lost, a little love will guide the way.